briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1953, the Alabama Court of Appeals heard the case McQuarter v. State, which centered on the concept that an individual could be found guilty of attempting to rape another person if there was sufficient proof that they intended to use force on the victim without their consent. The case involved a black man, the appellant, who was accused of attempting to assault a white woman named Mrs. Ted Allen with the intent to rape her. Mrs. Allen and her two children, along with a neighbor's child, were leaving a diner when the appellant began following them down the street. Feeling threatened, Mrs. Allen sought help from a neighbor when the appellant came within a few feet of her. Both the neighbor and Mrs. Allen's daughter corroborated her account of the events. The appellant was eventually found leaning on a stop sign near Mrs. Allen's home and was arrested. In court, a police officer and the chief deputy sheriff testified that the appellant admitted to attempting to rape a white woman. Based on this testimony, the appellant was found guilty and fined $500. He then appealed the decision, questioning whether the evidence was sufficient to support the conviction. Ultimately, the court held that there was ample evidence to support the conviction of attempted assault with intent to rape. The trial court's ruling was affirmed, and the appellant's appeal was denied. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lsc.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class. 